always remember that power is a double-edged blade. One side light, the other dark. Let's let's take it off my face and go back to the pack opening. What did James say? I hope he got the gold too. Ah, yeah, that pack. Oh, the Unraveler. I don't know if this card's that great, honestly. I don't think that card works the same way uh, Lothab did. Okay. Let's do the deal one damage life steal for priests, but I'm not sure it's actually going to be that great. Or just souls, pretty good. There's the other spirit lash we needed. This card's going to be insane. I'm glad I got one of those. Especially because I got the uh, soul reaper Gul'dan. So we might make ourselves a little bit of warlock action. This card is so goddamn ridiculous. Blood Razor, good. That's a good one as well. And another, and another Nerubian Unraveler. That's unfortunate epics for us, but that's all right. That's all right. On to Zerina. Let us begin. Hmm. I think we'll pick uh, Gul'dan and we'll go for some tap value here. Oh, do we do it? Do we do it? That can't be right. But this isn't right either, and that's not right either. So we're going for it, man. We're going for it. We're going for the discard synergy. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Uh, this card's independently better, so we'll take a 4 mana 3-5. This card's pretty good. This is pretty good, too. Skelomancer. Very good anti aoe card. I'm gonna do this instead though. I wanna control the board here. Oh, yep. Anytime we see this card, we gotta take it. Got to take it. Jason Minions plus two. That's probably okay in Zoo deck. Shovel's not bad. Not great, but not bad. I'm gonna go for this. Go for this. Take our discard here. Um, I don't even think we'll go with this. You know, that might not be the best for us. This is probably not good with more than one, and I just I'm gonna take the lower curve here. Ooh, tough choice, tough choice. Um, I'm not gonna have as consistent a buff, so possessed villager is a little worse. So we'll go ahead and take the sewer ooze. Oh, the Defender of Blog, yes. Tower Creeper, very good. Tower Creeper! Uh, this is a 2 mana 2-3, two, but I'll take it. <laughs> oh, this card's rate needs to be reduced. Poor, poor Warlock. I'll take the 2 mana 2-3. Two, now the Tower Creeper, and this is good because it enable, enables the uh, Stone Shape off. So this is a tap card. Mmm, we do want to tap quite a bit. I think this is more important. Coil. Over pain. Though that is debatable. Hey, we got the Violet Illusion, it's after all. Dope. A little tanker. We'll happily pick up that one. Oh, that's good. This is a turn one play. That's sticky, and some stickiness matters a little bit. We can defend our Vargas it. We can eat it on the edges. Hmm. What do we decide here? This will probably just be a 2-3 most of the time, but that's not bad if we're going for a zoo deck, especially because we'll be tapping into it a lot of the time. I'm going to pick this. Means we're not going to have our one drop, but that's okay. This is pretty good. I can't play it on turn one, but it's a pretty good card. Not quite as good in Arena, but... A little better than Constructed. Hmm, I think I have to go with this. I 
Um, we already have one Violet Illusionist, but I think it's just a better card, also. This is a good one, and the rest are not, so we'll take that. This is probably good. Ah, uh, no, I'll take Drain Soul. I'll take Drain Soul here. Fast deal two damage is probably worth it. Um, hmm. I mean, a 4 mana 3 4 or a 9 mana 6 10. In a Zooey deck, I want to go with the 4 mana. Oh. We can manipulate that. Yeah, let's do that. We can manipulate that properly. This is the bad version of Drain Soul. Specific. Well, no, it could go face, I guess. Almost entirely worse. So, better than our options, though. Squirming Tentacle is not so great. I guess we'll take it. Feels bad. This is nice. This is also nice, though. I think we'll take the Councilman Dream. We don't quite have a lot of token summoners here. It would be nice if I had some of these Grim Necromancers and I could throw on top of it the Darkshire Councilman. Dive this turn. Again, I don't have enough tokens. I'm going to take this, actually, for now. Also, it gives me some four prompt stuff, so that's fine. This is probably okay. This is a little easier to make work. Now we're going to take that. We're really heavy on the three drop slot, though, so we need to stop taking threes. Storm and Champion was a consideration there, but I'm going to be tapping. Oh, uh, look at this one. Uh, take a four drop instead, maybe. How consistently are we going to have shit on the board? Fairly consistently, I would think. I just can't believe we got this. If it, if it gets discarded once, it's value. Um, I mean... Hopefully we'll have stuff on the board. I think we've already got too much stuff that's dependent on having a board, though. We're going to take this. Oh, this is really good. Even though it's a three. We'll take it. This is okay. Four mana, two, two, three taunts. That's pretty good. And again, a Hazubi deck. Alright, so our plan is uh, tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. And uh, we have one, two, three, four, five cards. So if we draw a two, keep a two. Otherwise, mulligan really hard for twos. We're going to have really good three drops almost every time, so don't worry about three. Mulligan for the two drop if we have the two. Mulligan for the one drop. Feels good. Well, let's make it happen. Very, very low curve, which is nice. Okay, we got a two drop. Two mana, two, three. Not the so bad. I'm going to go ahead and throw back the Void Terror for sure, though. Oh, well. I guess I will throw back the Toxic Sewers. Uh, do I keep Coil? In case of a one damage thing? I guess I'll keep Coil. I'll keep Coil. Pretty sure we'll be able to get a better 3 drop. And also, there's the chance of us uh, picking up our uh, one drop or a uh, better 2 drop. But I would say this is probably a better 2 drop out of those. No, I'm better. <laughs> uh, I really like this card. Alright, very well. Oh, uh, we could coin. We're almost certainly going to pick up a three, so let's actually do that. Let's go ahead. Go for the tempo play. Oh, nice. Took out a Jade Behemoth. That's pretty good. Pretty good against our deck, where we would have to send a lot of minions to chew through that. And they would probably all die. That's fine. Go ahead and do this. 
Unfortunately, mortal coiling that doesn't really help us. It just cycles out the mortal coil, which is like, eh. Rather not give the two damage for face, um, just for doing that. Oh, no health, no health or immune to targeting. Yes. Oh my god, that's so sick. Oh, if only I had enough mana, that would have been so insane out of this world. Nice. Ah, okay, that's fine. Good for him, good for him. Is he gonna knock it down to two? No, he won't face, okay. That's fine. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and summon the tokens. Because they'll deal well under the glacial shard. And like it deals with Enchanted Raven pretty nice. We could have thrown this down, but he would probably just trade both of them in. Eh, might be able to get a little bit more value out of the Night Howler. Out of the Night Howler! Oh shit, he triggered it. Nice. Good for him. Unfortunately though, that still leaves our way to pop that shield. Pop, pop, pop that shield. Uh, the immune's nice. I guess we'll go ahead and do that. Do it on the weaker health one here. So that does have a persistent effect, so... I'm gonna that a little bit higher. We'll get rid of the elemental tag before we'll get rid of the beast tag. Well, no, I should have gotten rid of the beast tag, because the beast tag on board means something. It's elementals being played that means something, so that was actually incorrect. I should have gotten rid of this 2-1. Plus, like, this could be healed. You okay, Miami? Alright. Okay, great. He takes out that one. That's fine. Fine, just fine. Now we just start tippity tapping. Oh. Hmm. I could drop this and just miss the four damage this turn. I think I shall. And yes, that's how that interaction works. Since they hadn't attacked, I get to skip the freeze by just not attacking face. Does he have it in hand? Does he have it in hand? I hope not. I certainly hope not. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and attack face. Because I can deal with this a little bit better next turn, even though it gives him a chance to draw another minion that this can summon. I mean, maybe we can deal with it a little bit more easily. Why take the risk if we don't have to right now? Jade Spirit, okay. That makes uh, getting rid of the Jade Behemoth even better. Ooh, that one's pretty tough. That one's pretty tough to deal with. It's okay. That's why I'm glad we waited on it. Just to make sure we could actually deal with it. Uh, I guess we'll get rid of the tokens and do a little value here. Um, tap last. Unfortunate, but you know, that's fine. Do I attack here? I'm gonna go no, just in case. Just in case there's something better I can use that health for later on. We'll see. Oh, that was a good play for him. Wow, tough. That's a toughie. Drain life, okay. 
means we can kill it, but it means also that we have to kill it in a way I really don't want to. An interesting option. You just eat some stuff. Mm, I'll opt not to. Will I? You could though. Ah, decisions. <laughs> um. Hmm. Yeah, I guess this is fine. Let's just rely on the power of the tap. Go ahead and just rely on the power of the tap. Um, I think it's fine to do right now when he's incentivized to deal with it. Oh, that's a tough one for us. That one is a toughie. Uh, top last. Whoops. Why are you doing that, man? <laughs> in a place like this. Not relying on the discard. We only have one more discard in hand, so or in deck rather. Of the Darkshire Librarian. Question is if he'll trade the two two in here. Oh, he's going to trade like that. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Fortunately, the plus two health isn't enough to keep that going on. I could eat them both and then make something super big here. That would be an interesting play. Hmm. Hmm. If I want to do this, we don't have quite enough damage to, or quite enough mana to tap. So I guess I'll just do this. It's not like I turned out being a 3 mana 3 1, which kind of blows, but eh, you know, whatever. Oh, Bone Drake. Wow, that card is really good. Ouch. Um, we'll tap first. Okay. Do this. And here. I'm trying to think if I would want to buff him. I think I want to just buff these guys even though they already have taunt. Even though they already have tongue. I don't want this to have tongue, so I think we're fine with that. Okay. Um it's a little unfortunate with my board state, but I can just eat them and then drop it. So this is a good chance. This is to your hand, yeah. Okay. So we'll go ahead and eat these guys. And then we'll do this. All right, pretty good. Pretty good. Power of the tap, baby. See what he's got. Yes, Moose God down. The God of Meese shan't stand before me. Oh, hey, nice, honey, cool. Oh, I'll take that. Oh no, we completed a bad quest. Oh well. Oh well, that's okay. Sarait, Sarait. Bulldan, 
Alright, Daniel Head. Ooh, I'm very compelled by this hand. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep. Full keep! Full keep. Very, very interesting hand. Ah, greetings. Okay, 2-3. It's fine. I think my 2-3 is a little bit better, so... Unless he has more Warlocks, or more Warlocks, more uh, Murlocks, rather. Um, mine should be able to bring a little bit more power to the bar. Especially because I'm going to throw down Tark Creeper in front of it and just sort of let it chill. And my Tark Creeper might 2 for 1 this board. I could trade him in here, but... Uh... Hmm... I actually will, just in case there's some buffs going on. Him trading 1 for 1 is fine. I miss out on some health, but eh, whatever. Okay, yeah. See, this is really good against that board. Oh, sure. You want to do this? It's a little less stats than these guys, but these guys don't deal with these minions independently, so... You want to go ahead and throw this down, especially when the freeze doesn't matter. And next turn we could uh, get some serious buff action going on. Depending on how he plays it. Nice, okay, good. Oh, the combo combo! I'm liking it! Um, I'll go ahead and take out the spell damage, actually. Well, no, I'm gonna be a little greedy and not take out the spell damage. But I, I really don't think it matters that much. We could get punished really hard. It's entirely possible. But, um, it's all a Consecration is the most wild thing here either, so. I mean, sure, three damage to all for four is really good, but just the way the numbers work out, it wasn't going to be like, oh no, we instantly lost. It's going to be okay. Do I need a plus one attack for anything? Yeah, I could put it on here and send him here, but I've already got that going on. I think maybe just develop power is the right thing, in which case I should tap. Probably. Go here, there, there, and tap. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Die as you lived. Maybe there's a way I could have done that. No, I don't think so, actually, because they were both at four. Say so maybe there was a way I could have done that and played around Consecration a little bit, but I actually don't think so in retrospect, so it's fine. And if he sends it into here, I can go like that. So we'll see. The two threes seem much better here than they did earlier. We're ever weakening to AoE, though. So I'm, I'm definitely a little concerned about that. I want him to play something I can trade some of these guys into. And that's not what I was thinking, so... Alright. We'll go ahead and buff that one to trade. Speak your peace. I actually plan out the rest of this turn. Do I want to tap at some point? Probably. I probably want to tap here. In which case, I should tap first. So yeah, that's pretty good. Speak your peace. Do I want to put the two damage on the Tar Creeper? Probably not. Well, eh. We're so weak to, like, Consecration, but, I mean, he definitely would have done it earlier if he had it. 
So. So, you know, I'm just assuming he doesn't have it. He could top deck it, but we've got so much power on the board this way. That he has to play something huge that we can really optimally trade into. If he doesn't have Consecrate, which is my read. So. So, Daniel Head, show me what you got. Yes, good. We can trade into that very well. Oh, look at the efficiency. Yes, good. Good, good. I'm trying to think if there's a way I can empty this hand to soul fire exactly this. I don't think so. I think I have to roll 50 50 on it. And, like, this enables next turn. So I kind of don't want to do that right now. This is nice anti-AOE insurance. Uh, what do we do here? What do we do? I'm going to tap. Hey, yeah, let's do that. That's even much better. I'm going to trade in a little inefficiently here. But, I'm okay with that. Clears up our concerns about uh, the Bard being weak to AoE. And now we've got a giant Frozen Crusher on board, so we can deal with some big things. Some big things! Seems fine. Seems fine, just fine. Now. I wouldn't do this. It's gonna make it a little hard to deal with the Drake that he might uh, be able to drop, but uh, am I really drawing that scene? Got it every time. But I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with that. Get a little Defender of Argus action on these guys. See what we can do here. <laughs> We should tap our way to a bigger hand, so even if he, like, had one card that, like, cleared the whole board, like, if he had Twisting Nether in hand, we would still be, like, such a crazy card advantage over him. And we have a health lead. Like, he's so far behind. That's pretty good. But, uh, not Deathwing good. And even Deathwing would have been kind of better, because he'd have to discard the rest of his stuff. Um, uh, unfortunately this kills a couple of my things, so I don't really want to do that. I kind of want to just buff this guy and then soul fire and roll the soul fire. So that would be five, eight, and then tap after. This one's probably better. Play, eh. Yeah. I guess the immune will keep the divine shield up. So we're gonna do it like that. Alright. Yeah, it keeps the divine shield up. Alright, let's hope we high roll it! Oh, okay, that was the better one now. Um, yeah, he has so many whelps, it's like, there's not any benefit to trying to take them out, I don't think. Might as well just push a little face in there. Get him a little bit lower so we can more safely assure that we get our, um, get our lethal next turn. There's some merit in like, okay, this guy does to Consecration, maybe send him in there, and how much does the one damage to face really matter at the end of the day, but... Why not his chip? Chip tip away. And before Alright. Very good start here. 2 and 0, not too bad. Power of the tap, man. Power of the tap. It's a little slow on the tempo, but man, the value. 
We just have a value by just throwing our cards at him. Foil against Priest. I need to throw them all back because I don't have a 2 drop. If this was a 2, I would probably do a full keep, but I think I have to fish really hard for 2 drops. Make sure I always get those. And yeah, nice. there's the bartender. Do I play this on turn 1? Probably not. I think I want the battle cry. Even though the priest can't deal 1 damage, I think I still want the battle cry off it. And it does give me another bailout to have a, like, alternatively good play on other turns. The Clutch Mazar. If I ever uh, want to play something, but don't, it's not quite on curve, this guy can just bail me out a little bit. Okay, Shadow Wood Pain. It's fine. Might actually just tap here. In fact, I think a shell. Man, do I play that? Probably not. I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait. So finally even. I dropped a little bit in health, but... He's got the coin, I've got an extra actual card. So, you know, we'll see. See how it all turns out. And now I've got the tempo because he passed, so he's fallen ever slightly behind the further down the road we go here. Oh wow, he discovered it. Wow man, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, that doesn't give me enough health to matter. I'll probably do this because that trades well into that, even if it takes the two cards because I can sneak in a tap. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Well, say I could do something like this and try and like finish it off, but I'm just gonna take the free tap while it's free. Free tap! Free! And I can even get another tap next turn too for free, which would be pretty nice. Not dropping the health, like, still loses the mana, but... Okay, good play for him. But I simply can't resist tap values. You could do this and make that matter. I think I shall. I think I shall. Because he can still get some value trading there and then healing, but I can always buff up this guy and take it out. Oh no, that sucks. I could have always done that, but uh, not anymore. Alas, no longer. Hmm. So not any way I can shenanigan my way through that, but I do get a free tap at least, if I want to take it. I might just play the big card. It's kind of worked sh weak to Shadow Word Death. But it's always gonna be a little weak to Shadow Word Death. <laughs> um, if I play her, he heals. Good. But I get to tap, and I can play her with the Drake. Yeah, I guess this is fine. It's a little inefficient, but it's like, she does live through it, and like, I do get another free tap. I can't resist free taps. It gives him an optimal way to trade into that, but it ensures that the optimal way he already had to trade into it isn't as optimal, so... We'll see how it all works out. <laughs> I know how to deal with that card. Good old ignore. Oh, and I have a taunt for it too, that's pretty good. Man, I gotta just, like, I need to go to, like, some sort of Tapper's Anonymous thing and be like, look, man, I got a problem. <laughs> I just can't help but draw every card in the deck. I just, I can't, I can't find a way out of doing it. We're definitely sending this here. I just don't have another way to deal one damage. Like, I could tap into Drain Soul, I suppose. 
I definitely want to play an elemental, but like this will be an elemental. And this kind of deals with that. Eh. I guess it's fine. So many Let's see what we get. No, for off two. Seems fine. I'll go ahead and do this. And I just play the big man. If he has the Shadow Word Death to deal with that, that's fine, because we can still taunt up. Like, this is a pretty strong play if it actually activates on the battle cry. Oh no, he got one. Darn. Ah, Priest! Mad Life! Wait, Mad Life? Really? Am I playing against Mad Life? I, there's no way that's actual Mad Life. He doesn't play Hearthstone. I don't think he plays Hearthstone. He, he's in the, the Challenger series right now, so I bet he's like actually training pretty hard. I doubt he's just playing Hearthstone in his free time. It's a pretty good deck, man. Drafted pretty strong deck. Um, I think I think we finally can just bring ourselves a stop tap in here. We're definitely doing this no matter what. I think I'll give the immunity here. Because it is saving four. And then I'll... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I think we're going to screw up our screen. Pardon me there. Let me uh, readjust some things here. Oh, nice. Well, courier. Pretty good. Uh, can you guys still see all that? All right. Not quite. Let me, uh, let me readjust here. Not can see. Whoa, almost I can see. Uh, what is it that we need? No, not that. One of these is uh, a strange setting, but it's the one that I need for the... Maybe this? No, maybe this? Not quite... Definitely not. What the hell? And it's not, I promise you guys, it's not this. It it could be, but it's it's not. What is what is the setting we have for this? Oh my good gracious. My goodness gracious. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. Alright. Apologies for that. A little look behind the scenes there. I'll go ahead and play the Double story to disincentivize any AoE. Because boy, do we have good control of the bard. Uh, I'll play. I'll play these guys to set up. Start setting them up. Quake before the earth. Wait, what? Wait, what? What is this? What did he do? What? What? How did he do that? Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention. How did he take my shit? What? How did this happen? What did he play? Oh. Oh wow. Oh my, that's bad. Uh -huh. Well, that's certainly bad for us. Okay, well. Well then. How do we deal with this shit? What an interesting problem to have. Um, I guess we'll start by getting rid of the Drake. Um, do I really want to push face with that level damage? Probably not. So this is a good turn to play this. And I can just go and play both these cards out. And then I have exactly Clutch Mother's Aerith in hand. So if I get Soulfire or the Darkshire Librarian, she just becomes insane. Which I might need this game. We'll see. Oh. I mean, even though that's summon the 5-5, five five, that's still, still pretty good for him. Oh dear. Oh dear. I don't think the Skelemans will save us. That's pretty good, though. All of a sudden, perhaps the Skelemans will save us. The glory is mine. 
Three players, two mana, four, four here. No, I think we hold her. He's already got ways to trade into the attack. I don't want to give him a more optimal one. Oh, the Obsidian Statue, no! Hey, Defender of Argus, that's pretty good. Ah! Uh, ah, uh, this is so bad. Alright. Well, hold on, let's tap first. I'm telling you, we need to go tap for Synonymous, man. Yeah. Um, we'll do it like this. Five, seven, eight, yeah. My shield for God, that's such a good card, man. Alright. Alright, looks like I hit the two, three. Good. Well, oh, the master. Two mana, four, four, legendary. I mean, I'd take that. If she were consistently like that, I would take that. Just for the... I mean, even if you had to, like, play her only, like, game, you couldn't play her on turn two. Like, I would still probably take that. Okay, we're probably dead at this point. No, no, train life. Train life. Probably still dead, though. Um. Well. I mean, let's go. Can you deal with the giant minion? There's only one way to find out. So 9-11, I mean, that changed the country forever, so. Oh, no. Oh, dear. All right. Even the power of my entire deck was not enough. Was not enough. Yeah, we're dead, so. Oh, well. Oh, we cheated the discard mechanic. Oh well. Well played. Just on the off chance he's thinking about trading. Oh my god, we're so dead though. It doesn't matter, I'm gonna hit him with the well played. Oh, we actually did trade. Well. Alas, it didn't matter. My god, this card is so good! <laughs> so good if you get aboard. Oh, that's a classy way to finish it. Agency. Greetings. Alright, well, Mad Life beat us. No shame in that. No shame in losing to the Mad Life. Which is what I've decided that, that he actually is the Mad Life who beat us. He's that Mad Life. Sarite, Sarite. Okay. Well, we did our plan that game. It just wasn't enough. We just didn't have enough value in the deck. That was a pretty insane value priest deck, though. The Rod Painter. Alright, we're going to go ahead and throw all of these back just to make sure we can get ourselves a nice two drop. Alright, Clutch Mother. Hey, friend the bartender. Okay, that's who I'm looking for. Having Clutch Mother early is actually pretty good. In case we get ourselves the... Can I coin out against that? I think I do. What if I have to tap the next turn? You must have a plan if you played it like that. How do I get punished? I don't think I do get punished. So all time? I'll just pass. Okay, that's fine. I guess the same as playing in 3 2, so I anticipated that. No, so about that. Give myself a little like, HPs. Oh, 
also fine. Go and play the wall. Well, I mean, I could dream like that. Mm. I don't think there's a way I could punish, though. I'll do this. It's pretty good. It's okay. Two for ones. Whoa. Did I leave that on the board? Probably not. Probably shouldn't leave that on the board. I really want to, though. Fuck, man. I'm gonna leave that on the board, aren't I? <laughs> okay. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna do it like this. This only works on the simple minded. I mean, this is risky. But we can always dream life and mortal coil. Oh, he's gonna do it like that. Okay. In which case, we'll just dream life. Ah, uh, nice. A little value. A little value. Doubtful that it'll make too much of a difference in the long run, but... Don't mind taking some free value when I can get it. Um, do I sock a 2-3 into that? The health? I mean, I can afford to. I've got a pretty healthy card advantage. I'm going to opt not to here, which might be incorrect, because Frozen Crusher is a pretty slow card, but... Oh my god, he actually had it. He discarded a dragon, too. He still had it. That's fucking insane. Nice. Elemental Chain. That's really good. It's not so great with her on the board, but... Oh my god, by another Spy Historian. I can see why his deck is winning. That's that's some pretty insane synergy. But let me show you the power of immunity! Yes, the frozen crusher shan't be denied! And it's a pretty good, like, even if he sends the one attack into the Divine Shield, he still then has to sack a 2-3, because those don't do exactly 5. Or use a Holy Smite, that's fine. Now do some um, coil. So if he heals the wrong one, which he did, no play around coil, get punished. Luckily that didn't go to... Where it could have punished me. Um, I guess I'll play the taunts just to slow him down a little bit. I really want to play double sword egg this round. I guess. I guess I do. Because I have the 8 8 now too, so it's like it's arguable who's got the better board here. And Og you are a shadow. Let's play on the healing there. It's one point of health. Jesus, that card's killing me. Well, we finally stopped that nonsense. And plus two, that's not the biggest thing. I'm gonna try to get the board going here. Mm, yeah, let's just play that, because that's exactly mana efficient. 
It really pushes things onto the board. Which I definitely want to do against this board state. Just throw everything down really quick here. We've got another flood card to reflood the board. If he does have, like, exactly Holy Nova. Which would suck, but we'll see. Okay. That's uh, tough. Caught between a rock and a hard place here. Oof. Oh my. Oh me, oh my. Give me the taunt. I actually don't know that I have taunt. <laughs> Oh, darn. The dark path is my destiny. The dark path. Ha ha ha, you mind control me. Alright, perhaps we drafted the curve too aggressively though and didn't do enough value. I, I also just played that one too slow. I tapped too much, I should have flooded the board harder. Even if it was a little inefficient to do so. There was the turn where I was like, you know, I don't know if I should tap here or just throw away 3-2. Maybe it was right to throw away the 3-2 and start working stuff down. So that was that same minion that was still hanging around by the end of it, so it might have been... It might not have been enough, but it might have slowed him down a little bit, incentivized him to hero power, maybe he doesn't play for tempo quite as hard. Eh. Things could have been different. Alright, Harry Mage, you're on Druid, so I assume you're... You're off class. Play for tempo. I want to do full keep. I don't necessarily want to play for tempo though. I want to cheat that discard, so I'm probably gonna go just like two, three, one of the threes, and then see if I can play out all my cards and then cheat the discard mechanic. That's if I draw um, Clutch Mother. Which I've drawn her like. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Um, I've drawn Clutch Mother Zeris like pretty much every game so far. So she's a bailout for sure. With these both in hand, picking her up would be real nice. Um, how do we want to do this? I guess we'll just do it like this. It's fine. Let's see what she turned into this time. Is that the frozen murloc? Yeah, nice. I wish I knew how to reset that. There's got to be a way to reset this. One five taunt. Okay. And then face. Wow, that's pretty aggressive. Pretty aggressive. Get punished. I think it's somewhat punished. Not the craziest punish I've ever done, but it's a little bit. A little bit of a punish, depending on what he plays here. He has some sort of uh, buff. On all those minions, that would suck for us. Pretty good soul fire target. I think I will take it. I want to play the 
three with it. it really, this is a really shitty hand to soul fire with, but. Okay, that's fine. It wasn't the coin, but uh, that was probably the best. I mean, maybe Void Terror is arguably better than that, but. Eh, yeah, whatever. It's okay. It's alright. Not so bad. Good tap terror next turn. Alright, I guess we'll tap and uh, double sword egg because that gives us a good terror target. Ah, oh, blah 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 goddess! That trades really well. Start with our free tap. Oh, we could also enable it by doing that too. I think I'll just eat it since I that's mostly on curve. Then I won't play this because there's nothing else that requires one damage. Pretty good turn. Pretty good turn. Even on cards. Hey, there's the exact one damage we needed. Perfect. Fortunately, I don't have a taunt to protect that, but I do have the giant man. Let us throw down our crusher! Fits with the board we're playing on. Pretty nice. <laughs> I wish I knew how to reset this man. One, we need the guardian. Uh, okay, I guess he's just using it for the one three weapon. It's actually pretty good. You can send it into here too. Hmm, I actually can do. Like this. So I shall. Death speak up. Um, do I want to push the eight to face? I think I shall. He's got the weapon attached, so. With the, with the weapon equipped, he's more likely to want to trade into the board, but with a board this, like, powerful, it's gonna be tough for him to actually do that without taking a whole bunch of damage. I think I play this this turn because I don't want to attack into that as is. Well, maybe the plus two health and then I can attack. Yeah, that might be right. You can hero power and take it down. But then the damage is already done. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. I will purify them all. This one's already frozen, so it should unfreeze. Yes, nice. Okay, a little bit of value. Uh, I played that in slightly the wrong order, because now she's frozen. Whoops. 5-4. Being frozen might matter. So we might have been able to push lethal with her. Slight misorder there. Well, no, 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 it's not, because then it would have froze if I had played that first. So, no, no, that was the correct order. It just sucks that I have to do it that way. Oh, well. Hill, then he had Frost Rider. The mighty Hildenir Frost Rider. Alright, Harry Mage. Show me your druid strength. Ah, swipe. Very nice. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Pretty good pickup for him. Now, what shall you do with that mammoth? He's got a mammoth of a problem. Oh, a mastodon of a problem. <laughs> hey, that's actually really bad, though. 
Because this might. It is like really bad anti synergy with the light spawn. Oh, darn, it didn't go to it. Didn't go to it. Oh, darn. I guess we just give the immunity. Drain uh, liking that down isn't do much aside from prevent this. I'll hold the dream life. Fortunately, I don't have discards anymore. It's not bad. It's not bad since we're pushing him on lethal, and we've like arguably got the board state working in our favor right now. Give me a quest. Ah, questing. That's pretty good. Alright, good so far. What else you got? I imagine he's gonna try and play a lot of cards for questing. Is that it? Wow. We didn't actually have to do that because he had the weapon. So that means these cards are over 5 mana? I think? I think that's what that means? What happened with these headphones? How do they get tangled like this? Whatever. Um, so we've got a lot of targeted damage here. Fortunately, not all of it can go face. And this is where this is actually... This is the one case this is worse than Drain Life. Like, if I had two Drain Lifes, so I'd just have Lethal. But, unfortunately, we live in the one world where it's actually not Lethal. <laughs> Pretty sure we tap. Pretty sure. I think we just do it like this. Just do as the honey shrimp do. <laughs> Play a little bit on curve. We never use the coin in this game, which is somewhat unfortunate. If we get a chance to burn coin, we should just immediately do so, without any hesitation, but... Just never need it, man. I mean, we could 4-drop tap into 4-drop, and then... Or 4-drop tap into 3-drop, and then coin out Clutch Mother. Oh, man, I went. Fortunately for him, that's still lethal. Well played. Go and play the coin. <laughs> Just so we play the coin, you know? Didn't need to, but you know, that's fine. Alright, three wins! Let's get ourselves back up to four. Let us do it. enough to find a two drop but I could be wrong about that it'll just hold and point out a three drop as well so, I don't know. let's see how it goes oh wow who's not doing anything next turn he didn't even hesitate at all on that either I definitely don't think that's a 
ramble idea. And I can miss out on the plus one attack, but actually get some face damage rolling. I don't think that matters though. I'm more about controlling the board with this deck and just letting the board build up face damage over time. Definitely gonna go ahead and coin out some stuff though. Start with that. So if you can deal with it, that's fine. And if not, like that card just wants to go face over and over and over again. Alright, great. He's just going face forever. If he doesn't uh, trade into it, he's just going face. I mean, he could clear out some totems, but not the 1 1 totem. Oh, okay. Offline. Very right, nice, so we get to get our stone shaper out. Very good. Got ourselves a coil in hand if we ever need that extra damage. Or if that shit happens, that's so good against our board. I think we'll go ahead and just coil that. Though it does pain my soul slightly. Which is what sh shall be done. That's a really good card to draw to play. Oh, we've got the board. Throw it down so we can develop a little bit. A little bit more, a little bit more power. Oh, ouch. That sucks. I'm gonna do this. Forces him to try and trade. But even so, like, he all he can do is remove Divine Shield. Oh, okay. Well, unfortunately for him, I have the Keep the Friendly Mini immune. So this is about to be a tragedy for this guy. I'll go ahead and do it like this. Uh, some more copy here. No reason to tap just yet. Let's go ahead and just keep throwing some power on the board. Power on the board! Whew, that would give a friendly character views super broken. Holy smokes. Okay, he's trying to high roll. I high rolled on that one. Yeah, I rolled on all of them! Wow! Good for him. Good for him. Get some back in the game. I'll go ahead and tap now since I'm so far ahead. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. If I knew that was coming, maybe I wouldn't have swung here. Now that it's too late, I think I don't uh, play it, even though I kind of want to. Oh, it's alright. Get my healing going so I can keep my taps moving. And we do technically have lethal on the board, but yeah, I'm assuming he has some way to deal with that. Uh, the Tom's as well. Oh man. Almost have lethal. Very close. Very close! We actually didn't have lethal on the board, I was miscounting, including the Tar Creeper damage. But we are very close. There's no way to make it work. Um, I'm gonna do like this, do like this. And then I think we freeze the other two and just pass on the damage. Tap last. Whoops. Um. That's incredible. I want a defender of Argus or something here. I'm gonna defender of Argus one of the freeze minions. Cause Maelstrom does kill this since I didn't Argus it, but this also makes this a roll on another lightning storm. Or this a roll on a lightning storm plus hero power. 
This one's just a discover. Okay. I think he should have tapped first. In case he was able to roll the lightning storm. No lethal quite yet. No one took my time here. Just send it all to face. I mean, I could have thrown that on there and then sent that in there, but eh. Just build up the face damage. Tangible. It's actually alright. Oh, that poor son of a bitch. That's a good one. Hey, Clutch Miller's Earth. Good to have you. And one health. Wow, that's pretty good. What an attack! Oh my goodness. He has become a piece of toast. Uh, is there a way I can get her buffed? I mean, I shouldn't, like, super DM him. But I'm going to. <laughs> Such mother has been not very impactful this game. Kind of unfortunate, but you know. I feel like the legendary drop rate has increased for Arena. I'm not sure if that's actually true, but I see so many more legendaries now than I used to. It's like any deck that goes like three or four wins has a, at least one legendary in it. And I regularly see like two legendaries above that rate. And that's only what I see, you know? You only see about half a guy's deck. So who knows if they have more legendaries in there. But yay, four wins, all right. We always feel good about ourselves when we get to four wins. Hmm, I think we throw it all back, because we're looking for the two drop. Alright, there's our two drop. Don't have a good three yet. That's okay. No tempo, turn one play. Hey, there's a good turn three. Alright, this will work out just fine. Mm, I'm a little worried about the battle paladin bus, but I can't not play into that. We'll see. We'll see. Crafter, show me what you got. Do you have the play? Do you have the punish? No, he does not. Very well, very well. Hmm. I don't want to play my guy in that. I want to set both of them to two. I Probably. Probably okay with doing that. Mine's better than his, but... He might trade. I definitely won't, so... You know, it's like air quotes wrong because my guy is having a positive persistent effect. The health doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Yeah, and there we go. Seems fine. He's just gonna go face games. Ooh, ooh. Mm.
Maybe we'll just throw it on Clutch Mother here. He's gonna think he's gonna get some value, but I can always drain drain life that. Which like he does get value, because so I have to spend the second card to finish it off, and I overkill it. And then I heal face. For three mana. <laughs> so he does get some value, but you know, whatever. I can always uh buff this guy up and surprise attack as well. Do a little surprise attack, yes. We'll see what we can get going on here. Mm. Double Sword Egg would actually be pretty nice here. So I could just immediately eat it with Void Terror and Coin. And Lequan. Be quite the power play. Ah, he's glorious. So he's going face. No, he's still going to trade. Still going to trade. Just hiding behind a little bit of a Tontorino. It means I get a little bit more value out of Dream Life, though. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll go ahead and coin that out. And this guy's actually doing something that matters now. He's clearing out that really annoying Taunt. So by the time anything could have attacked anyway, that Taunt will be down. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. And my taunt is actually significant, because it's a Tar Creeper. So it's going to nullify his 3-1 from doing any persistent damage. Then, like I mentioned before, we have the double targets for Sunborn Valkyr. So if he plays a 2-3, we could uh, get some sick value out of our 3-1 guy. What's it gonna be, Crafter? You're a little bit ahead in the value, but I've got the tap. You must maintain the board, otherwise I shall tap you to death. Your power of the one ones is no match for my power of the entire deck. <laughs> All right, there's the buff. There's the trade. Oh, this poor son of a bitch. Those are so bad when I've got this card on the field. Oh, that poor, poor man. That poor, poor man. Here, de -der. That's pretty funny. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play this. So in that case, I'll tap first. Because this just trades so poorly with the ooze. Maybe I take it. Maybe I just take the trade with the ooze. Yeah, I think I have to. Ah, that's unfortunate. Poor order. Poor order. Took two damage for no reason, because I changed my mind. Oh well. Oh well, it happens. Follow the bell! See what we can get done here. You on the list? Are you on the list? Reporting for duty. Dang man, it's a lot of damage coming at me. Nine damage. Feels bad. Feels pretty bad. I think I'm going to have to do the more tempo oriented play than just the single big guy. So I'm actually a little, a little behind here, and that taunt is actually going to be relevant. Oh boy, was it! Wow. Wow. The light yeah. Oh goodness. For duty. 
Oh me, oh my. Looks like the two damage isn't gonna have mattered at the end of the day regardless, but... So I bet he's gonna overkill me by more than two, so... Yeah, darn. Well, we can go out classy, like, with the Abyssal Enforcer. And I think we shall. Is there anything I could draw? Anything I could draw? Giant Taunts. Tolvir so won't activate. Defender of Argus! It's not enough, though, right? It's like all this just deals with the four. I'm pretty sure we're dead no matter what. So let's just be classy about it. And I'm with the wall played here. That's too bad, man. You got us. You got us. Tip of the head to Crafter, finishing out the run on us. May he go forth and crush his enemies. Alright, let's see what we get. Pack a little bit of gold and a little bit of dust, I think. Ah, double gold, alright. A some value. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. Oh, uh, I don't think this card is actually that useful. I think this is too weak. On its own, like the random death rattle minion. Especially if it's random. If it was discover, it still might be too weak. But, yeah. Yep. Let's go ahead and get in another arena. I mean, I'm definitely taking mage there. What can I say? Uh, I think this is the easiest to actually get to go off, so we'll just look to pick up elementals. Very heavily into elementals this game. I'm gonna pick the value card there. Uh, draw card! Over 1-1 one, one in stats, I'll take that. I'll take that. We could have enraged it with our ping, but I think it's just asking too much. Hmm. I don't know how to evaluate that card. Is that better than a 6 mana 4-6? Spending three mana to copy a card. I mean, I'm not going to be able to get value out of, like, some sort of crazy combo with it. So I think I just take this. And ten, ten drops are incentivized now. <laughs> so, there's that. There is that. Uh, I think I take this. Maybe we. I'll take we. I guess this is the best card here. Like, it's a useful battle cry for one more mana, whereas the other guy was just useless. This is okay. And it's whenever I play a card. But this is pretty good. I think this is a bit more one mana for plus three, plus three. And it's like an equivalent. I mean... It's two mana for plus three. Let's see. This is this is a competitive lineup here. A five mana five five that sometimes has charge, actually not too infrequent, or discount on the one mana, but it has a little bit of a theoretical drawback. So I'd probably pick this over that. Question is, do I want the Frozen Crusher? And I think because of the elemental synergy I got going on, that sort of tips it. Hey, very nice. I mean, this is clearly just the best card there. 
We need to uh, get some early game though, really bad. We're all about the early game now. No, I mean, there is a Murloc, but... Oh boy, we definitely need see a low drop, pick a low drop kind of thing going on here. That's a good one. We don't have a lot of boards, so this card gets even better. I don't think this is good enough. And I don't think that's... I mean, this is... Two more mana for plus two plus two, so it's theoretical. I'll take I'll take the lower curve card. Frostbolt over these guys, probably. Frostbolt's just too good. Mm. Synergy. Counterspell might be better though. But better than your effect, I'd say. This just got better since I picked up Counterspell, but I still think it's worse than Corrupted Healbot. Take the Healbot. Man, I need some two drops! Thank god, Twisted Worgen coming in for the save. We could ping this, make it a 5-3 for 6 mana! No, it's definitely take the two drop. Ah, uh, Anti-AoE! Over this. I don't have a way to activate myself, do I? Not gonna frostbolt it. This does activate, so I have one way. Two ways. Do I have two ways? Possibly some other ways. Eh, I think that's good enough. Don't think I'm gonna have any self healing this game. Four mana, three three. That could sometimes be more. Probably isn't though. A two drop. To be fair. God, I need two drops. Am I so desperate? I'm gonna. It has elemental tag as well. God, am I really gonna do that? That feels so bad. I'm gonna though. Jeez Louise. That hurts the soul. Take the missiles because that actually does anything. This is where I'll pick that with no fear. There's my two drop. Mm, interesting, but I'm gonna take this. Max Soul Caster is interesting, but it's also just by far the best card here, I think. So I'll take that. Fire Plume, very good. We don't have that many spells. We have arcane missiles though. We had a secret. I guess that's not too bad. We definitely don't want any more eggs. Um, this seems like a really good card, but I don't have enough of a sticky board presence to make it work. It does activate my egg. This is an elemental though, and some one drop. I need early drops. Second corrupted seer. I've been picking up quite a few elementals, so that makes this better, but I think I want a two drop, right? So I have one, two, kind of three two drops. Yeah, I'll definitely take the two drop. Um, I guess I'll take this. These other cards are just so bad. I'll take this to finish it up. Okay. So the main struggle we're going to have is, I don't think we'll struggle getting three drops. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, all of these are playable um, on three. So one, two, kind of three, four. So kind of four cards and a reactive two drop. And I have one, two, three, arguably one drops. So I think I mulligan pretty aggressively. Mulligan pretty aggressively for a good opening. I should be able to have value over time if the game goes long. Possibly. If I can actually get at least to go off, I should be able to, but we'll see. We shall see. 
If I throw a three drop back like this, because I can point it out as a two. I'm not, I'm gonna keep it just because it's a proactive three. I could coin out on two. I think that's good enough. And the immune is really nice. Immune on poisonous always feels good. There's my one drop though. Alright, no one drop from him and he can't deal one damage. That's pretty good. Hey, that's a good one to get. See what he does here. Wow, okay. Interesting. I will go ahead and coin this out. Because whatever his 3 is, I can give that immune and take it out for free. So that's pretty good. See what he's got here. Firefly, okay. Not gonna worry about that. I think I'll go for the arcane missiles here. Oh, we thought it was a beast. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, John the best. John the beast. Oh. I'm sorry, man. That's an elemental, not a beast. Oh, that poor guy. That poor, poor man. John the Beast, I'm sorry to let you have to tell you this. That's not how that works. Ouch. Alright, we got ourselves a fire plume phoenix next turn. <laughs> oh, this, this deck is not, uh... Well, you wind up getting that. You know, I'm gonna go at least. I mean, eh. I can always get punched by another uh, Misha. Or not Misha, Leok. Yeah. Um, I can always get punched by another Leok and get a little punished, but seems unlikely. Hmm. Pretty good ring card. Um. Also, like, Direwolf Alpha punishes us, so it's a little greedy to do it that way. He discovered the random beast. That's an interesting value choice. Playing for the value game, I respect that, I respect that. Definitely gonna play at least as quickly as possible. Um, I think I do it like this. Because then he has to send the two in there. And I got the thicker one attack minion. I don't really need to do face damage against him. I'm not that concerned about it. Play around Meteor a little bit. Goodbye, him. Oh, ho, ho, wow. Oh my. Me, oh my. Aluth Neladar. Aluth Neladar. Alright, have your discounts. <laughs> you yeah, get a one mana discount, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we just won. Uh, that's gonna be hard for him to come back from. And we have so many elementals in our deck, this like is actually gonna pop. I could have played around that a little bit better by placing this there. Well, that's arguable. I guess that's fine. I guess that was optimal placement. Alright, wow. Well. And the Kalamai are activated. I just need a way to activate them once more because unfortunately I can't coin them out this turn. So we'll definitely do this. 
I think we'll play the slower card here. I could have gave that a move, but eh, I'm okay with not doing it. Keep that hand nice and empty. Now we'll give the Calamus into Calamus here as soon as we get our next elemental. This is where Ice Walker actually would be halfway decent. I can't actually play this. Okay, we'll go and play this while we can. Speak your peace. Save the immunity for something that matters. Oh darn. Okay, so it's the kill command, I guess. Clever girl. Clever girl. Okay, I went for the trade there. Hey, there's our elemental tag. Very nice. I guess I should have played it on this side to better play around AoE again. Because I was thinking since it's activated, I don't really need to prioritize damage going to it, but I still should because I want the death rattle to pop as soon as possible. Alright. Let's see what we've got here from Kalimos. The elements combined! So I don't have enough for lethal, so I think I'll just do the three damage. Yeah. So I've got a thing that trades really well into that. Take this, and take that. And then go here. And I could have pinged, but whatever, that's fine. I wanted to pop the egg, so. I shall do it! And now I have exactly lethal. Slightly more, actually, because I have, um... Because I have, uh... The... King. Alright, well, so... <laughs> we have already felt the power of the Elise. Elise is, uh, pretty... Pretty good when you immediately draw her pack. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. Must say I'm a little impressed by that, must admit. Lisa bringing the noise in her first appearance. Oh, I throw all this back. Giant. Show me what you got. I only kept one, so it's not too scary. Definitely sucks that we don't have anything to do proactively, but, uh, wow. Boy, does my deck want me to play Arcane Missiles this game. I don't think I have to get the Battle Cry value off of her. I think it's fine to just play her as a 3-mana 3-4. Three so that's a pretty good stat line, honestly. Especially in Arena. It only, cost my soul. it only cost my soul. Okay, can Frostbolt and Ping that? I think I shall. None is good. Swords. 
He might like ping that for a couple turns, but I would be happy with him doing that. So that means he has to play so slow on tempo. Oh, okay. Okay. So he had to coin out his ping. I'm okay with that. Oh my god. Come on, man. Alright. It's a little better. Woo! We're lagging. What is the sun lag? The arcane missiles were too much. <laughs> okay, nice. Here's some immunity value. We can go ahead and play the weak card after that. We arguably should have saved it for... Oh, excuse me. Enabling some of our elementals, but... Having this freeze might actually matter a little bit, depending on what he plays exactly. That, that's pretty good to freeze. So it deals so well with Bob Creeper. I'll go ahead and throw down my anti AoE card. Over the card that's a little bit stronger. Seven on the board. It's dangerous for him, you know? Only at 15. Oh, darn. He has a nice little elemental chain himself. Darn. Oh, darn, 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 darn. Hmm. I think I will do it like this. Play kind of optimally around, kind of pull there. Oh, whoops. Aha! <laughs> Whoops, wrong order. Whatever, I I will be shocked if that matters. In fact, thinning out the deck, though this wasn't intentional, thinning out the deck before I get to Elise might be nice, because then after I play Elise, I'm much more likely to draw the Enduro pack, so. Hmm. Always thinking. Accidentally. I think. So I'm gonna send him in there. He's gonna die no matter what. But I need the ping regardless. So it doesn't really matter. Unfortunately I don't have any way to like burn him out, so I've gotta do some trades here. Okay, as long as it's not Elise, I'm happy with that. Oh, Bolt Master, that's pretty good. Oh man, he's getting some value here. Oh dear. Oh dear. Save me, so I have to like Dark Iron Dwarf into him like Pyroblast in the next one. 
Which just ain't gonna happen, so. Well played. Alright, one and one to start. You got us. Oh, we have one fury. Ouch. Yeah, that's too bad. He got us. He got us. Oh, congrats to the giant mage. He made it work. Oh. There we go. Hit him with the GG. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna do a little bit more pack opening here after this arena. Got about 3,300 gold, something like that, so. Go ahead and buy some additional packs. Probably not dur burn all the gold, but uh, drop quite a hefty amount of it here. Keep the frost bolt. I'm in the reactive position, but uh, we can make work. Oh, nice, nice. This is like the best curve probably for greetings, my deck. Oh, the greetings. Oh, wow, nice. Wow, this is really good. Slow opening against my deck actually having a fast opening for once, that's crazy. I mean, comparatively fast. Did I ping all that? I think I actually really want my next soul caster release here. I think I start by pinging the taunt. That way I don't truly obligate myself next turn. It's a little funky, but I think this is the right play. I can always coin out a counter spell next turn as well. Oh my god, wow, he's playing so slow. Holy smokes, he's playing slower than I am. Nice, drew a proactive two drop. Pretty good. Um, I think I reveal it here. I think I reveal it because the grievous bite would hurt us. And now that he can target something and hit it with the AoE. I think there's like, he either has no way to deal with it, like he could always have like Elven Archer or something, but there's no way that he would have to deal with it that like wouldn't also work with something else. Do I play the counter spell while I have the discount on it? Probably, I could also give immune to her in case it's a uh, explosive trap. Check for... Yeah, I think this is okay. Do it like this. See if it's the cat trick. Nope. We'll give her immunity, because if it's bear trap, we can kill it. Okay, and it's an explosive, so... we put the two damage on him instead of girl. That's fine. So next turn we Elise, and then we probably throw down the veteran here to make sure we finish off whatever's on his board. On average, we should be able to do that. We'll see. And he's not going to do anything sneaky because we have the... This is a spell, Stop Utter. Going on with the counter spell. Play the missiles on that to try and only use one minion. Missiles are free right now. Put this on top. God, but that's, he's gonna crush us in value if we do that. I 
I guess we're writing the least for value. This jungle hides yeah, whatever. We, we can always frost bolt it, I suppose. I'll just frost bolt it right now. Let him have a random dragon. Whatever. I'm not too afraid of a random drake. Do I want to throw a second Lisa in my deck or do I want to throw a Frozen Crusher in my deck? The Crusher is probably more immediately impactful. And I'm not necessarily playing a value game here against this guy. Because he will win that. Oh, nice. Missiles on that is probably correct. Oh, it's got to hit at least once. Oh, darn. Darn. Do I just turn face after that? I think I do. Yeah, I mean, after the Arcane Missiles went face, it's like, alright, my next turn to tell me something. I could have tried to punch through Savannah, but Savannah had me into such value, it's really hard to do that. Okay, that's fine. I mean, we're all in on going face at this point anyway, so... He's on a bit of a timer. I'm sure he has 13 damage on board, but... It's kind of hard for him to go. All the way through all that. Oh, it's ping and coin here. So I'm, I'm actually coining out the ping, but... It only cost my soul. I'll leave that. Um, I am coining out a ping, but... It's also like, I have to ping since I'm setting him on the timer. So I'm also kind of coining out the 3-4. So it's, it's debatable, which I'm actually coining. I'm kind of really relying on him not having any healing. But it is Hunter, so it's not like that's a foolish thing to rely upon. Oh, it's just unfortunate. All of this is going to be bad here. Unless he goes into that, that'd be great. You gonna remove the Frozen Crusher with the Hyena? I think he should have raced me there, honestly. Left the Divine Shield Taunt up and tried to race me. Not quite sure about his play. Um, not sure what we're looking for off this. That'll do. I think we just set him. I'm freeze. Set him one off. And see, like, right now there's 13 power on the board. If he had gone face a little bit last turn. I mean, maybe I would have been able to punch through that. No, I guess that's right. I guess he played right after all. I guess I'm just wrong. Well, look how close he was. Like, he was too off. There's just, ah, uh, just has to have been away. Like, if he has an arcane shot, he wins. Oh, so close, Jaeger, man. Poor Jaeger. He was so close. Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, it's gotta keep him up at night, you know? Man, too off. Too off, man. That poor guy. I don't know, man. Because I would have been able to punch through that in him. So I think he made the right call by going for the trade there. But, oh. Just not able to put me on the bubble. Maybe he could have gotten some more tempo if he had put me on the bubble like that and then just gone face again and I wouldn't have like been able to break through like immediately that turn. 
I don't know. Tough. It's a toughie. Reflection are probably not going to be that crazy this game. Spells are fun, so fun. Alright, Swig Fig. <laughs> Schweig Fig. Schweig. Okay. Can I tread there? Mm, maybe. Perhaps not, though. Yeah, I guess I do trade here. This keeps the 1-1 one, one alive. They have at least an opening hand. I'm going for long game, you know? And I can freeze something next turn if really need be, so... Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good for me. Don't need the freeze first. Um, I think I will do this. This is I've got so many ways to deal one damage. Like I can keep it alive afterwards. It's like an elven archer thing that kills me, but... I'm also concerned about consecration on that, so... Ah, Spellbreaker, that kind of sucks too. Oh well, I'll let him do that. It eats a silence, you know? It's not the worst. I'll trade both those in, it's fine. I get Molten Reflection of 5-5. Five five. Seems alright. Or, if we really want to go crazy with it, I could give it the Death Rattle and then try and Molten Reflection it afterwards. That would be super crazy. I need at least two of these to hit that. Eh. Nah. I'll just do that and give it the Death Rattle. Because then I could Molten Reflection at least, and that would be pretty sick. And I can even like have a little flexibility when I play with it. I could ping and take an Arcane Missiles roll, or I could just drop the Devil Sword Egg. Vine Cleaver! Yeah, I wouldn't consider going to base fiber him. Reporting for two. Definitely do want to ping. So I'll go ahead and take the missiles. Very nice. And look at this, I get to freeze them too. This is so insane. Amazing! Oh my god, so sick. Because even if he has consecration, they resummon themselves! Oh, the value! Oh my god. That's so insane. Oh my god, an arcane missiles. I can actually lethal off that. Oh, we gotta roll now though. It's a low probability, but... <laughs> wow. Wow. Well! <laughs> oh no! Oh, I'm yet. Wow. That arcane missiles, literally for the win. Wow. Alright, I wasn't expecting that one! <laughs> I'll take it though, I'll take it. Sometimes, you know, you just get it. What can I say? Not one to, uh, disrespect the 1-1 one -one Divine Shield Taunt. But oh, man, when you arcane missiles it twice and then ping the face, it's a pretty good counter. 
Three. No K four. Mm. I don't know. It's not like I have that many fours either. And Tolvir Stone Shaper. Uh, one, two, three, four, five other threes. I guess I just keep the curve. It's a pretty weak curve, but I guess I do just keep it. All right, I'll do it like this. And if he plays a 2-3, I will ping it, and then just play a little bit off curve the next turn. It's slow, but it's fine. That just sucks a lot. That raw there just sucks. rather unfortunate for us. So we're going to be behind the eight ball this game. Pretty hard. Happy Ninja probably on the course to victory for himself here. Four mana five five. It's not bad. Might help us out here. Definitely get into that. So what is that though? I'm gonna take this though. Ah, uh, that's pretty good value. I, I, oh wow, it's pretty good value. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that, man, other than that's, that's pretty good value. I think I'll go ahead and ping. That's okay, this one weren't the worst to lose. Frostbolt kind of sucks, but not the worst, not the worst. Now, theoretically, I can Dark Iron and ping to take out the Taunt, which is the one he'll keep. Because they're equal in stats, and seeing a Frostbolt down, he might feel a little bit more confident with the 3 health. And since they, they're equivalent in stats in total, he might uh, go ahead and keep that one just for the taunt value. Which looks like he did, so great. And that life still doesn't really matter, it's basically uh, just gaining him the extra. The extra two health one time, so that's fine. Could have arcane missiles there and cleared it all. <laughs> With our arcane missiles left from the last game, I'm assuming the next arcane missiles that we play aren't going to be the best. So statistically, it might work out that way. Ooh, baby. I'm going to missiles here, though, and see what we can get off it. Oh. It's a 5 mana 5 5. I mean, it's an Elise, you know. Um, I was thinking about uh, Manic Soul casting it, but. Uh, Death, Rattle, Death Rattle Resummon is probably good on it, though. What to do? What to do? The problem is, I can't hero power if I do that. Well, I'm definitely doing this no matter what, right? The only question is how these missiles turn out. Never face. All right. Always face. He gets a little bit of value. Um, the question is, what do I want in my deck against his? A five mana five five or a dark iron dwarf? Hmm. I probably just want more thick end, honestly. I'll just put the bigger one in. 
Just in case I don't actually get it with the Dark Iron Dwarf. If I get that when I have no board. 5 mana 5-5 five five is a little bit better than a 4 mana 4-4. Four four. Just a little bit. I'm warning you. I'm unstable. Ooh, that sucks. Sucks a little bit for us. Reporting for duty. Yeah, we can play around that alright. Darkening missiles. <laughs> gonna resist the temptation on that one though. We're gonna do it like this just to sort of maximize the value potential here. Um, yeah, a little unfortunate, but like it could then go to the 3-3, three, three, which is also just really bad. Nice, that worked out perfect. Man, Iron Jesus is on our side lately, holy smokes. A turn of the coin flips in our favor. Pretty good. 5 mana 3-3, three, three. give a 4 one summon a 4 4 death rattle. It's pretty good. Pretty good. This card's better than I evaluated initially thinking about it. If we, we can't count on having a pretty significant board, but just anything. Like, you only really need to. Like, a 2 3 or a 3 3 of value to throw that on. And it's worth it. It's just slow, but it's worth it. Little bits of slowness never hurt anyone. I think I'll do it like this and then I will missiles. Well, no, I'll just ping. I'll save the missiles. Kind of puts myself in the spot for Consecration, so... Don't think I want to play into Consecration any more than I already am. So I'll just hang out. I'll just hang out. Fortunately, if he's got a really heavy curve in his deck, he's going to really super outvalue us, so we'll see. Which is a possible argument for just going all in, trying to hit the face, since I have 13 on board. Like, this would have been enough to set up lethal. I mean, you could even say, like, I should Arcane Missiles the face while I am, so, like, it gives all these survivability options, but I just think that's a little bit too much. It's a little too ham. I already got the Divine Shield top, good for him. Makes Arcane Missiles really good for us, though. Draw first. I don't think we're going to draw this. Um, no, we are, because we don't want to play that. So, we'll go ahead and play the draw first. Okay, that might matter, that might matter. Let's see how these turn out. Okay. It's pretty good. Four, eight, I mean, again, I'll play around Consecration since we have the luxury of being able to a little bit here. We kind of, like, it's kind of hard to not play into it with this board state. Maybe we could have played around it with our board state a bit better, but... Okay, fine, Cleaver. I think we win. Yep, we got him. So many little ones. Oh, I don't know why we're being so hard. <laughs> Can't help it. Can't help it. Usually I don't beat him like that, but... I'm feeling good. What can I say? This deck's stupid. 4 1. Pretty good deck. Pretty good so far. How's our frames looking? Zero lost frames. Perfect. Perfect. Four one, baby. Let's see what this deck can do. Show me what you got, deck. Who are we up against? Priest, huh? 
up against Bao Wong the Priest. What keeps that three drop? Really? Coin, play that next turn. Yeah, I'll keep, I'll keep both those three drops. Those are the two drops I need. <laughs> There's a two drop. Could do that. Could do that. Could do that. I believe I shall. Saves me the coin. Gives me some flexibility. Priest can't deal one damage. So how priest? So I could get a free trade off, possibly. Have the battle cry. 3 mana 2 4, summon a 3 1. That's probably worth running. A little vulnerable, but particularly against Priest, it's good. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good play right now. Yeah, he brings it down to a 2 2 theoretically, so. It's that, but. I just play this. I think I'm gonna do this. I don't think he has the answer to it, so we'll see. Bowbond! Show me what you got. Oh, he got himself a nice little play there. Hmm, well, that's pretty good. It does actually make the death roll go off there. Pretty good, pretty good. <sighs> We want to enable this. Probably not though, because that's pretty bad to just play. I guess I could do the me and Banshee. I think I want to take that out with a ping though. Before he gets anything else behind it, you know? So I think we'll do that. Play this, which should be able to handle that 2 4, which is what that's gonna be. Or 3 4, rather. Yeah. So I'll get a little bit of value out of that. But this is where my coin turn kind of comes into play here. What's it gonna be, Ralwan? I've thrown my coin into this exchange. If you can come out ahead of it, you'll have gained severely in tempo. I even missed out on some possible value on Arcane Anomaly too, with one but Yeah, it's a priest. Can't deal one damage. One is equal to two a lot of the time. Ha <laughs> ha, priest. Show me what you've got. Okay. This is all time. Oh, dang, that's pretty good. Fortunately, he's not going to be able to heal. I don't know, well, I'm definitely taking that out with them. Oof. It's tough. That's a toughie. That Ron Lar? That's toughie. I'm going to go ahead and do it like this. Because then I can take that out. Even if he heals it. It's a pretty good card in Manic so Caster too. Stealth. Poisonous. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, Holy Nova. Well, Holy we'll Nova for just that one card. Still pretty good. Did its job for sure. Um, uh, draw first. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna do this, because I'm thinking we'll play the 
the servant of Calibus next turn. And he might get some value by healing that one, but I will just let him do that and I'll send my guys in. Just because the, like, discovering elemental is so good. Like, one, I might get Calamus, and two, even if I don't, like, that's so good. Um, on the card disadvantage I'm generating by losing those guys, throwing them in like that, it's probably okay. The flame guys are just pretty good. I mean, this is okay, depending on what one I get, but it's random, so I'd rather do this. Fortunately, I can't do that ping to start things off, as well as ping face. So I don't want to enrage it. Even if it makes it one for one. I'd rather just play my Steam Surger next turn. And then compensate for his evil on it. Which I think is what he's going to do. He might just go face with it. We'll see, we'll see. If he does, I can just Bog Creeper. So I definitely want to use a Steam Surger while I can, so... Okay, no, he traded. And now I'm going to for Hilda. Bit of a misplay, they need me. Oh, at least, well, we're definitely playing her as soon as we can. Just going to have to play all this stuff right now. Hold the Flame Geyser, doesn't seem to matter too much. At the moment. Oh wow. Terminal servitude. Ah, it's okay. Whoa. It's probably what else did he lose? Was there any other Death Rattle minions he lost? I don't think so. Volatile Elemental? Volatile Elemental and Tortolan Shell Razor is what that last card might be. Man, this really sucks. Tortolan Shell Razor is killing me. I guess I just do this. Even though that hurts my soul. This jungle hides many secrets. And just chill. Just chill. I won. Where are you heading? All right. Healing that doesn't, well, I mean, it does matter. But it's not worth not playing a card behind it. I don't think. Okay, if he's gonna do that, no matter what. Wow. It's really good against me because I don't have an actual answer to it, but this is pretty good to stop it from going insane. Like, it'll take this one out for free, but then it'll only have four health. That's pretty brutal. Brutal. I just gotta let him get the Bog Creeper, man. That's too bad, but... This equalizes. By having gotten its sick uh, value already, it'll equalize things for me. Oh, fuck the mind control. Wow, that really blows. He just killed us. No! Oh, that's so unfortunate. Well played. You brought me back. You win this. I brought her back just to die. Oh darn! Brought back for death. That's yeah, alright. What are we on? Four wins? Yeah, four wins. Alright.
Ah, at the end of the day, I'm okay with this. If we get another mouse here. Let's see what we can do though. Ooh. Every win me on this gets us some pretty sick value, so hopefully we can get another win or two here. Captain Asian. I think we'll go and throw back the missiles. Especially because we don't have a two drop yet. Throw it all back. I mean, Toxic Surus is really good in this matchup, but. Yeah. These cards are really bad in this matchup, so. Eh. <laughs> Didn't seem to work out for us. Hey, I'll take the Babbling Book, though. Alright. Not the best start here. Side effects? No. Trust me. You know, I'll just do it like this. Can't make a zero power and not do anything. It's really bad to play just to play. 2 4 body. The immune is so strong, especially since he played it slow. He's gonna play it slow as well. Hopefully I can pick myself up a 3 or 4 drop. Neely Banshee would be really good. I'm looking for her, honestly, but... Or Neen. Keen? Kenny? Keeny? Neen? I don't know. I don't want for one now with the Arcane Missiles, because this was discovered. Nice. Pretty good. Not too bad. He does still have coin. Ooh, Twilight Drake card. That one's a good one for him. Um. Hmm. I guess we cycle. Guess that's fine. Guess it's fine to just have it as a cycle. Putting the two damage on it actually does matter too. Um, because if it doesn't get taken out by the uh, frozen pressure, the bog creeper will be able to kill it then. So we'll see. Wait, what the fuck is this? A mirror image? Okay. Yeah, hey, that's fine. We'll probably play the mirror image, but that's what the bog creeper next turn is for, to sort of force the trading. Oh, sap. Ouch. That was a pretty big sap for him. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. Pretty good peddler. Pretty good! Alright, Bob Creeper. Bob Creeper! Save me! <laughs> it's still a good board state to play Bob Creeper on, too. Shadow Strike, that hurts. That was always gonna hurt. Okay, nice. Wasted, uh... Wasted his initial weapon. He does get the immunity off it, but whatever. Only problem is we don't have any more taunts, so... I think he got us. Anything I can do here? Freeze? Ah, oh, that's a bailout. Nope, it's not even a bailout. He has exactly lethal effect reason like that. Ah, darn. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Or a test. Okay. 
Alright, BMS, come on. Come on. Throw down the BM. We got a BM there, there. We deserve it. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Pretty valuable Drake you got there, too. Yeah, oh man, just not being able to play the stuff in his weapon. That sucks, man. He got us. What can I say? Alright, nice. Let's do a little bit of more pack buying here. I think we'll go ahead and treat ourselves to about. Uh, how do I change this? Is there a way I can change this? Do I have to do it in this one? What? Couldn't I? Can't I buy it by. I don't, I don't quite know how I just did that, but... So, do, okay, just re-click once I already have it. Well, let's start with 20. Start with 20. Let's see what we get here. First, the arena pack. What did we get from that last arena run? Eh. I don't think this is going to be anything, ever. Like, this is almost always worse than, um, Frost Wolf Hunt, or Warlord, rather. Interesting, I am really impressed by this card now, at this point. This might be good in, like, a mid-range deck. And I definitely want to play it. Play dead. Make myself a nice little Death Rattle Hunter. Now's the time for Control Hunter. Finally. It's been so many years. <laughs> Finally, Control Hunter might be a thing. Uh, this is a really good card. We might be throwing this in some dragon decks. Pretty impressed by that card. Oh, Golem. Yes. Hey, Forge of Souls, I only need one of those. Very good. Very good. Oh. Rogue might be a thing with something like that going on. Hey, another Eternal Servitude. That's a pretty good card so far. It's a set that's pretty strong though, so... That's not particularly great though. That's okay. I'm intrigued by this. It might bring Elemental Synergy to some weapon decks that don't really have Elemental Synergy. Weapon classes, rather. Perhaps not yet. But it might be something with a shaman weapon, maybe. Shamans have some weapons. Mm. I don't know, I'm intrigued by that. Seems like a good name card. Alright. Interesting. Probably not good. Interesting again. Hey, there she is. Hey, Spreading Plague, too. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, too. Very interesting take on the whole Hongu thing. I like how they're doing the more token summony things, but they're making thick tokens too, they're not just literally 1-1 one -one tokens. <laughs> this guy. There's gonna be some mean decks with that, I'm sure. I love the polish on this, like, when I put this deck in, like, watch, or this pack, right there, like, the rainbow that, like, encircles it is all, like, blue-toned, and then it, like, explodes out right before the pack opens. Like, that's so cool. So cool. Oh, hey, nothing. Oh, bring it on! Yes! I'm gonna try and find a deck that can run this. I think this is a good card. I, I know it's spooky, but I think that's a good card. And EA Priest can deal one damage, finally. I'm gonna find a way to make that work. 
There's going to be some sort of control warrior that can make it work. Takario Defender. Overload 3 is probably too much. Some nice little dust. Bella. That card might be good. Got two of them right there, so. Ooh, another epic. Spectral Pillager. This little Condorino. It's probably a good card in Rogue. Probably more of a control roguey kind of thing, though. I doubt you're going to use it for burst. You could. You could always send a base, but... Golden Legendary! Oh, it's Valera, too. Uh, I'm not so convinced by Valera. I might dust this. I might dust this. Get myself a death man I'm actually more interested in. Wow, Golden Valera! I might dust her. I might not, though. We'll see. I'm sure she's good, but I'm just not a great rogue player. Maybe now's the time. I used to play a lot of Miracle Rogue. But ever since that, like, stopped being super crazy insane, like, when they nerfed gadgets in Auctioneer, like, way long ago, um, I kind of fell out of it, never really got back on Rogue. Because Rogue is so hard to, like, weave the needle, thread the needle of not dying and getting weapon value. And I just, I struggle with that. Maybe we can find something to make that work. We'll see. I hear she's supposed to be really good. Valera the Hollow is supposed to be cool. And she looks super cool, so. I'm down if I can figure out how to make it work. But, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Alright, last two packs. What we got? Extra Forges. And the final pack! Yeah. Oh, Obsidian Statue, that one's really good. Hey, another serving Eternal Servitude, so we can actually dust that one that we already had. Nice, let's do a little dusting. Let's dust these cards off, see what we've got here. Check for all of the glow lens here. Like this one, can be disenchanted. This one can be disenchanted. I think we have... Oh no, there's another golden. Make out dust! Oops. Do I need to say? No, okay. Any more golds? Nope. Alright. Ah, ah, give me that. Yes. Bring the dust to me, yes. Just short of the legendary. That's okay. Alright, now let's think about this. I want to... I want to, before we finish up today... Look at a deck list I was eyeballing. The Warlock. Where, where is this? Yes. Yes, okay. Now you, you can go and close. Um, let me see where it's at here. If it's still around. Oh no! I might have lost track of it. Disaster! Is this it? I think this might be it. Yes, okay, here we go. Um, let's go ahead and we'll get rid of this priest because we finished the mission now. Go ahead and bring us back to the standardio. Alright, 
right, let's see if we can make ourselves a hand lock. Um, start with the Twilight Drakes. Mountain Giants. And then think. Um, we're definitely going to put in... Ah, ah, ah. There we go. Gonna put in the Blood Reaver Gul'dan. I don't think we do Blood Reaver Gul'dan and Lord Draxus. Um, I think we just want the Lifesteal, deal 3 damage, hero power. So that's so good. It gives us an opportunity to sustain back up as well. That's just so good. Um, let's see here. Double Abyssal Enforcer. It's better than Siphon Souls, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Okay. It doesn't run the Fell Fire. I would be surprised if it did. Um. I think we only have one of those guys that I remember opening here. It's one of the despicable dreadlords here. Uh, it doesn't run a single health fire. Like five health fire. Um. Oh, the shamblers. Okay. Face the shamblers I wasn't expecting to list. And Shadow Bolt's a little unusual as well, but that's fine. We have Drain Souls? I think we didn't open any Drain Souls yet. I don't have Drain Souls just yet. And it kind of uses the Defile. Do we have Defiles? We have at least one Defile, don't we? No, no Defiles. Hang on. Yeah, we gotta open some more packs maybe before we construct the stack. Let me, let me get Thalmos in. The Blood Mage. What? Oh, whoops. Mixtures. Only one of her. The. Ah. Double Coil. I'm surprised to see Double Voidwalker again. A little surprising. I think that's all we have. I mean, maybe we have a Tainted Zealot. That's neutral. Yes, we got exactly one. Perfect. Alright, so we're a little bit off still. We don't have quite all the cards we need. Earthen. Single one of as well. Yeah, lots of one ofs in this deck. Very interesting. Um. Uh, Oh, and Shamblers, that's right. Shamble, Shamble. Alright, I think that's it. Also Sun Fury. But of course, taunt up all those big things. Alright, so I think that's it. So we're missing the two Defiles, two Drain Souls, A second Despicable Dreadlord. I think that's it. Is that right? No, there's one more we're missing? Two Defile, two Drain Soul. What are we missing? Did I put in two? Oh, Lich King. That's all right. Now, I'm not convinced. To entirely on that either, but I think the taunt actually is a lot better in Warlock because your health really does matter. Especially if you're doing the aggressive like tap for the Mountain Giant uh, Twilight Drake opening. Seems good. So we could we could just finish up and build this with the rest of the dust, but I'm gonna hold off for now. I'm gonna hold off for now. We'll leave this as incomplete and we'll come back to it. We'll give it a little bit more time. Theorycraft a bit. And uh, we'll come back with maybe, maybe we'll do a little handlock. Maybe the handlock returns. Who knows? Oh, also, by the way, I've been playing, uh, I've been just doing a little grinding in the, uh, in the wild. And we're at, um, 
Like, 18. I usually just hover us at 20. Um, just to make sure we get the extra value uh, out of, like, quickly just cycling through games super fast as we grind. But I've been not bothering to concede, so maybe we'll do a little run up the wild ladder as well, maybe. Well, only one way to find out, but... Uh, We'll go ahead and find out on the next episode, which is not going to be tomorrow. It's going to be um, next Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, right? I'm not losing my mind. Yeah. Uh, next Tuesday, in which we will come on back and uh, see what we're doing. Uh, we might start the Race to Legend then. We might uh, just do a little bit of uh, more uh, arena. We might uh, mess around on Wild, maybe try and climb up Wild Ladder. Uh, but only one way to find out, and that's to tune on in. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next episode. Show's over. The righteous and the meek may recoil at its cost. But they have no vision. Power alone is not to be feared. Fear instead those who wield it. <laughs>